members and certainly appreciate uh, a healthy debate. Uh, remind me not to let Senator Jackson go for me ever again. Um, Senate Bill 70, I'm bringing to you uh, per request. And I know that many members often get requests from constituents from in your district. This is an, a unique request in the sense that there was a bill passed, uh, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, by you uh, in 2008 uh, that created the Louisiana Science and Education Act. And while we get requests from many different people, uh, whether it's a business, whether it's a homeowner, whether it's um, you know an educator, but this one in, in is unique in that it came from a young man who's a high school student who's sitting next to me. I'm joined at the table by Mr. Zach Hoffman, who's a student here in Baton Rouge. And he uh, has been the face of this repeal effort uh, to a bill that we see as uh, very threatening to our economy, our educational system, and the reputation of business in the academic communities. I'm proud to say that uh, this bill, Senate Bill 70, has garnered the support of not only the City of New Orleans and the City Council, who voted unanimously to support the repeal of this act, some members of the clergy, the Clergy Letter Project, the Baptist Joint Committee, scientists, 43 Nobel laureates, and other prim prominent scientists have endorsed the repeal. In addition, there's significant support from educators, the Louisiana Science Teachers Association, the Louisiana Association of Biology Educators, the National Association of Biology Teachers, national science organizations, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the American Institute for Bio Biological Sciences, the American Society for Cell Biology, the Society for Study of Evolution, co-signed by the Society of Systemic Systematic Biologists and American Society of Naturals, the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology, the American Society for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. And there are over 65,000 folks who have signed a petition in support of this repeal. There have been petitions across the state, including ones from LSU and St. Mary College. I'm proud to sit here as well with Ms. Peebles, who is a professor, a high school teacher, um, who can answer a lot of the questions that the committee may have with respect to the repeal. But just as an opening brief statement, um, I, you know, this, this bill encourages the replacement of empirically tested and universally accepted scientific theory with fiction and conjecture. That is the 2008 version. Without repealing this act, Louisiana's children are far, far more likely to be exposed to teachings that bar them from entry into growing fields such as medicine, biological, engineering, medical research. By hobbling our children with insufficient education, we are dooming our state's economy and foreclosing possibilities to provide good jobs to Louisianians. The end result is that we further isolate ourselves in a globalized economy. This cannot be our future. And by repealing this law, we take just one step, giving our children the gift of opportunity. I'd like to just give a few quotes and then pass uh, the mic on to the folks right next to me. The Baton Rouge Advocate just recently, um, May 23rd issue, said in an editorial, we hope the Louisiana legislature takes the opportunity it has this year to repeal entirely the misnamed Louisiana Science Education Reverend Welton Gaddy, Baptist minister from Monroe, Louisiana, says, it represents the best thinking in American science, the best thinking in American religion, and it also reflects the United States Constitution. <clears throat> Dr. Kevin Parman, the LSU Dean of Sciences, who I don't believe is here today, I think he's traveled, uh, has said, our children need to receive a high quality education that includes a current and compelling curriculum in science and all other disciplines. The Science Education Act undermines that objective in the teaching of evolution in particular. I'd ask that you join with me today, members of the committee, in repealing the act that was passed by this legislature in 2008 
and setting uh, education on the right course and making sure that um, our children get the education that they deserve. And uh, with that, I'd ask Mr. Copeland to offer his comment. 